Hello, Taras here, and welcome to another episode of our running series, What is a Coral? Today we're gonna to be tackling another widely recognized, very hardy, and very well-seasoned family that's in the aquarium hobby. This is one of the first soft coral families that really started to have people start to have success early on in the reef hobby, and then we're able to do all kinds of fun things with. Even though it is a little bit of an aggressive member overall. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Briarity. This is the green star polyps, a highly generalized and tricky name for describing all kinds of corals that are described by having this soft, fleshy, encrusting nature. But they are all octocorals and they have varying uh, degrees of architecture, with some of them having this really long, flowing mouths, others having kind of more curled, thick architecture. But for the most part, they are composed of varying degrees of green symbionts that kind of give them this, this wonderful, flowing, uh, majestic appeal. I kind of liken them to the majestic, open, windy fields of like Holland or something. They're a really aggressive coral. They tend to uh, kind of conquest wherever they uh, are placed. Um, so there are some strategies for keeping them in the aquarium. They're localized around the Indo-Pacific region, but as far as their behavior in the wild, it's a little bit difficult because once they were introduced and propagated in the aquarium hobby, it became arguably their own thing in the aquarium hobby. And uh, to kind of get more context into that and what the priority really is and why it matters and why you might want to have it in your fish tank, we're gonna check in with Eli in the trenches. Hey there, Eli again to give you a little more up close look at the Green Star Polyps or GSP as we call them here. This is one of the most popular soft corals that we sell in the shop and honestly a lot of the ones that you're going to see here came from our farm just down the street because they're very conducive to the aquaculture setting. They tend to be really easy to cut so even on the hobbyist level you're able to really if you get a good growth out of them just cut them up with scissors, glue them down to a plug with super glue and they're really easy to get going. As Taras was saying earlier they're really aggressive growers. They grow very quickly in a wide variety of settings. They really don't need the cleanest of aquariums. They really don't need the most attention versus other corals which makes them a great beginner coral but it does make them a bit tricky when it comes down to their temperament. Green star polyps happen to be one of the more aggressive types of coral that you can keep in your tank. They've got a very potent sting and so when they grow and reach to touch other um, corals a lot of times they'll win the stinging match and actually end up causing some tissue recession on your other corals that they end up touching. So for that reason it is always a good idea. Uh, it's our recommendation when you add green star polyps to your aquarium, if you don't want them to take over your rock work and to sting neighboring corals, to kind of keep them on their own, as you see in this display tank, we did our best to keep them on one side of the tank as far from the rest of the other corals as possible so they don't end up touching other stuff and causing some damage to some of our other corals. As always, feel free to check us out online at osachoice.com for all of your aquarium needs. Feel free to like and subscribe, share these videos, and let us know in the comments if there's anything else you would like us to talk about.